today is from Luke 12, verse 49 to 54. Jesus says, I have come to bring fire on the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. In the Bible, fire first would mean judgment. In Deuteronomy 4.24, fire means God's presence and love for his people. Fire is also for purification. Fire means also division. But most often fire refers to judgment and that is what it is meant here. In the, earlier in Jesus' ministry, he spoke to the people and told them that he would be returning and that he would reward those who are faithful and punish those that are wicked. But now Jesus says, I have come to bring fire on the earth. He brings the day of the judgment. Nor was Jesus being gentle about, ju ju about the judgment. Judgment will rain down like fire. Jesus said, fire will be poured out on the earth. And he adds on, how I wish it was already kindled. In other words, I wish there was no need to wait any longer. I wish it happens now, says Jesus. That sounds harsh, but not if he is meaning either of these two things. First, an example is, in the family, if someone is suffering from a long illness, a loved one, and there is untold suffering, and along with him the whole family also is suffering, and it goes on and goes on and the people are waiting when you will get all right. And they keep on telling each other, we hope this we hope this gets over soon. Likewise Jesus felt that. He too felt the same because of their hardened hearts that this too may get over soon. That his day of bearing God's judgment would come. God is just and therefore judgment will be made for sin. To reject Jesus is to reject God and therefore to bring his fire on judgment on themselves. In Luke 12 verse 50, Jesus says, I have a baptism, I have a baptism to be baptized with. Jesus says, I have a baptism I have a baptism to be baptized with. This is a call for the people to think about the final judgment. Baptism is not meant so simple and easy and joyous occasion. On one hand, baptism is a promise to us that we are God's people, that we are His children and that we are united to Him now. But on the other hand, baptism of Jesus is leads Him to His passion death of the cross and resurrection so that we may have life and we may have salvation and redemption earned by him. Do you think Jesus says, I have come to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but division. Isaiah speaks of Jesus' birth, that Jesus would be the, would be the person who would bring peace to the people and that's why he calls him the Prince of Peace. But Jesus did come on the earth, okay? And he brings the peace that is required for people. He was peace himself. But peace requires a reconciliation between God and man. And then between men. And the gospel of Jesus alone can do it both. The topic of today is from Luke 12, verse 49 to 50.